I've been to so many award shows where the winner comes back to the table and very modestly says, oh, it's not like I'm curing cancer or anything. So it is so <laughs> humbling and inspiring to be sitting here with people who sit back down and say, actually, I am curing cancer. So <laughs> thank you very much for letting me be part of, of this amazing evening. So Victor Ambrose and Gary Rubkin have provided groundbreaking insight into how living things build the trillions of proteins that run them. They discovered tiny instruction sets called microRNAs, the key to an intricate system by which genes regulate other genes. When I was a kid, I remember being curious about the world. I remember reading a book about Clyde Tombaugh, who discovered Pluto. And he was a farm boy who was an amateur astronomer. So I think I identified with him because I was growing up on a farm. And so there was this possibility that somebody like me could become a scientist. The space program somehow captivated me. I was eight. When you're eight years old and you're getting picked last for all the athletic teams, my self-esteem was not based on my athletic ability. I found my equipoise in imagining myself as a scientist. That's what I could be. We were postdocs together and collaborated. And then we both started our labs at Harvard, on different campuses at Harvard. And I think we sort of decided to split up the project that we'd begun together as postdocs. The dramatic moment came when each of us had decoded some of the letters that correspond to these genes, and we wanted to compare the sequences. I was working in my office, and when he calls me up, he goes, do you see it, do you see it? Well, this was 92, and we had started in 82. <laughs> so it was a 10-year culmination. The discovery of microRNAs was the first step in a small RNA revolution. There's enormous range of biological processes that microRNAs are involved in, from cancer to heart disease to uh, neurodegenerative diseases and so forth. When I was a first year graduate student, I didn't feel like I was the smartest kid in the class, but now looking back on it, I was definitely the luckiest kid in that class. It's an amazing thrill to be considered one of the leaders in a, in a field, because I, I was just trying to be pretty good. It's really, thrilling for me that Gary and I are being recognized together for this because the discovery that we made together came from us communicating results from our lab. A lot of people who win prizes together do not like each other, right, because they've competed. It's somewhat common in, in awardees to have them hate each other's guts. But this, uh, we're being recognized for doing something literally together by sharing information. Uh, you just can't take that away from us. It's, it's, it's terrific. For discovering a new world of microRNAs, the tiniest genes that are the powerful regulators of other genes. The Breakthrough Prize is awarded to Victor Ambrose and Gary Rubkin. So I've been very inspired through my life. As a child, it was the space launches. And then when I decided to become a scientist, I joined an ongoing revolution in DNA uh, in the genomics revolution, and that's been my workshop. I want to thank you so much. I want to thank my family so much as well. I think that uh, it's extraordinary that we as a society have supported basic science for so long. This is the secret of our success. Finally, I want to thank Candy, uh, who's been my uh, partner uh, in life and in science for more than 40 years. Thank you for taking me on as your project. <laughs>